Um. Jeez. Oh, okay, Asano. I mean Austin. I'm. I'm. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Austin. I'm getting nervous about. Oh. Uh, broken up between patron and bouncer. Okay, well, let's, um... Koshi, take Asano out. I, I, I need to figure out a way. I probably need to get rid of Roy as well. She's really old. I really could use a more decorated cop on Shift B, honestly. That would be extremely helpful. Um... He was too fast, and one on the points. I don't really understand all the rules, so I can't keep track of points very well, but he was all right. Even showed a few tricks to the match. I got carried away a little and pulled him back. Can I take the day off? Do I get a choice? It's just he's, he's, he's out for the day. Okay. Oh, crud. Well, hold on a second. Who? Oh, this is the cat fight. Um, He's killed the two wasted... And the drunk hat. Oh boy. Um. Oh, that's not the right decision. That's not the right decision. And this might actually escalate even further. Um. I I actually I don't know. This these two could work. I'm I'm trying to fail her. I don't want to, but I kind of have to fail her if I want to follow this mandate that I can't not accept, apparently. Okay, let's do this. Um, oblivious to the police officers. Go at it. Um. Oh, boy. This could go really bad really fast. I could just not interfere. But... I feel like if getting involved, Austin's not particularly reliable, so. <sighs> she failed, so she's gonna get the boot. Can I get, get to the police station? Oh, it's too late. Good job, you two. Dang it, I feel so guilty about this. End of the day. No, my best guys. This sucks. I don't want to get rid of Stovall. He's great, and so is Robbins, even though he's kind of. I really want to try to hold for Robbins, or to first of all, so far and Robbins, they're great guys. Austin, I I can I feel fine. You look like you're smoking weed too. That, lo that looks okay. Now hold on a second. He definitely did not look like that before. I might have a case against him. Okay. Day five, let's get to firing. Tired police officer Thomas Blaine shoots. Oh, officer Blaine explains. I thought she was a suicide bomber. Oh no, because she was carrying a bomb in her in her jacket. I guess. Oh, that city has no problems with racists. Yeah, that's complete BS, Mr. White Man. Like completely white. Why would a man need a barn? to store all the stuff you can't bring home. About 30 years ago, back when I was young and interested in farming, I carried all kinds of junk home. After a day in the field, I'd come home with buckets, shovels, dirty boots and clothes, and instantly transform the living room. But even back then, there's something I always kept in the barn. Man cave. Extra weapons, money, drugs. I stopped keeping my pills inside the house because every time I was about to take a triple, someone would knock on my bedroom door. Now they're knocking on my barn door. Well, fine. 
It's not every day that someone comes to visit your barn. Oh, hey, it's, um... In all the years we worked Kendrick. together, Kendrick never came to visit the house. We drank at bars, went fishing, went to the mountains, even chased off some poachers one time. But he never came for dinner with the family. We never watched football over here. And now he's brought his friends to visit my barn. I always try to look unsurprised, like it's an everyday thing to get visitors at the old barn. Especially guests with their own personal bodyguards. But Kendrick is sharp enough to see he's caught me with my pants on backwards. Sorry for the surprise, Jack. We saw you from the car. Figured we'd find you in here. I'm going in for a minute, fellas. These guys will wait outside. Uh, Kendrick, friend, what you doing? How long you been dating the lover boys? They're sans people, Jack. Yeah. So now you're appearing in public with members of the Mafia? Jack, I'm leaving tonight. More like fleeing. Jenny and I are taking the girls and making a run for it. Probably won't be seeing each other again. I've got new documents, a new name, a new life, everything new. The papers say you're still working your last week for the department. I've got to get out today. I won't be getting another chance. Don't know if you noticed, but the whole city is against me. You told your Mafia friends about your plans. Jack, if I don't fix everything with them in the next few hours, they're going to kill me. And not just me. My family, my relatives, God, Jack, I don't know who else. They found out that I was planning to run, and they demanded that we close our contract today. You need money, don't you? Or a favor. Your contract, Frank? Really? Is that how you talk now? Maybe you should call in the lawyers to straighten all this out. Now is not the time, Jack, please. I have a commitment to them until the end of the year. They need an inside line at police headquarters. I can't just give them back the money. That's not how the Mafia works. If I can't find someone I can trust tonight, I'm dead. You know me, Jack. I wouldn't ask you if I wasn't afraid they'd cut my daughters to pieces before sunrise. He's the damn fool who puts his daughters in the crosshairs in the first place. That's what I was thinking. Anyone in my place would have dressed him down good. But I didn't want to pile it on. Fate's already got this guy's soul in the grinder. Oh... I can refuse or agree. So, basically, this is asking me if I want to line straight to the Mafia. Oh. You, you know what? No. No. You know what? I've said that the police and the Mafia never, ever, under no circumstances, just ever, 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 they do not work together. We are completely opposite sides. And I would never, ever agree to work with them. Publicly. Let's help Kendrick. Give him my phone number and tell him it's done. Don't call me. Don't come to work today. I don't want to see or hear from you again. Time for you to go. Jack. I... Get the fuck out of my nice cozy barn, Frank. At the time, I was trying not to think about what just happened. It was almost too much to take in. I'm probably the most popular police chief in the history of the city, and I have to admit, I've thought about that more than once, sometimes with a little pride even. In one of the features they wrote about me in the papers, they said it pretty plain. He catches the criminals. Believe me, high praise like that is unheard of in Freeburg, especially for a cop. And here I am, the person who catches criminals, and I've agreed to help the Mafia, or I'll come home to a bag stuffed with my kid's body parts. Right before the last hammer falls. Hey, remember that cop who caught criminals? It turns out he was a Mafia bitch. And all for the sake of a greedy, corrupt cop who should have fled the country years ago. 
That sound right to you? Don't worry, buddy. No one's gonna find out. No one's gonna find out because we never work with the mafia publicly. But we are definitely gonna milk this. Uh, Birch? Dude? What, guys? Um. Can you spare me? Actually, no, I, I can't spare you today, even though I don't want to. Like, we have two people out. Um, I was held up reading, um, but I didn't have time to ending. I can't rest until I know for sure. Can I go home and finish reading the book? No, no, you cannot. Jeez, and I don't know if I've got to work on trying to get these guys fired. Let's, let's let's take this. Yeah, fine. Don't leave me here. Oh, boy. We are in trouble. We are in trouble. No matter your personal relationship with the city's administration, your police station is at their mercy. In order to maintain a reasonable working condition, you have to send appropriate requests to the mayor. Affairs. Okay. City Hall. Oh, there's so much more to this game. Oh, jeez. This could be really interesting. Um, You can send a request every five days. The fools in charge of the city may refuse you outright or accept some of your requests. So only ask what you really need. Um, I don't really need anything. Uh, salary? Here's your weekly... Sweet, thank you. Um, hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. What's going on here? A bum? Guys, really? Okay. Oh, jeez. Uh, hold on a second. I need to take a look at the workforce. We only have two... Co oh, we have two? There's, there's no way we can have enough to replace everybody. Okay, first of all... Who's out? I don't... I feel like... Tyler? Who's Tyler? Oh, okay. You, Taylor. Sorry. Taylor and Birch are out. Okay, um... First of all... Austin, I am sorry, but I'm gonna have to fire you. Failed three assignments in a row. I'm sorry, but we can't have ineffective cops. <sighs> or black ones, apparently. Fire legally. Jeez. Okay. Um, labor market. Let's put you into... What does our personnel look like over here? Pretty well trained. Oh, jeez. Unless we have to get rid of these guys. Do we really have to get rid of these guys? Let's, um... Let's just put... Let's put... Gabriel for shift B where I just hired out. What's his backlog? Fire all... Jeez. I, over the next two days, do the... I can't. Wait, hold on a sec. Cops? Do detectives count as cops? I'm sure they count as cops. Okay, yes, I know. Get over here. Um... You know what? You two can handle this. Grant and Birch Jr. We need to get rid of you, Roy. But we don't have enough people. Um... A witness looked out from a window and saw an armed man. Okay, um... Dang it, Stovall, I, I really need you to step up. I am so sorry. Take Roy with you. What, what's going on over here? Honestly, I could... A pay raise, a detective, SWAT upgrade... I, we haven't really needed SWAT, and detective not really, so let's... I guess do an upgrade for that. That could work out well. Yes, I know. You don't have to keep me the freaking message. Okay. Grappling. Um, two Elvis impersonators. 
They're swearing in Spanish. Okay, um... Robins, I feel like you can handle this. And if you can't, then... Uh, I mean, honestly, better for me. 